My name is Margaret Alford and my major is Business Hospitality. So the reason you would be creating a pivot table is when there's a lot of data and you want to narrow down that data based on personal interests and you can do it in the form of a table. So for this example we're going to be using the Airbnb sheet which is located in the bottom left. So click on that data and we have to select it all by clicking on the button in the top left and it will cover all the data in a gray film. And then click the insert button on the ribbon at the top, pivot table. And we use a default setting, so click OK, and we're presented with these boxes to help us create our pivot table. So this data is showing us options for Airbnbs and information about those all over the country, and we want um, to find rooms available by neighborhood, room type, and price. So we're going to look over here in this pivot table builder and um, put neighborhood in the columns and you can see it populate over in the bigger table and we're going to put room type in the rows so you just drag it and or you click on it and drag it and then price in the values and for that we want to edit this so that we can see the average price with two decimal points so click on this help button, and I'm using a Macintosh computer, so it might be different on a Windows. Average, and then for number, you can adjust the way the number is shown, and we want two decimal places, which you can see right here. And OK, and then it shows up over here. And so then, per, in for this example, we want to see um, the amount of nights because we want to stay one, two, three, or four nights. We don't want anything shown where the minimum amount of nights you can stay is, say, like seven days. So we're going to put a filter just so we can see rooms that are available for that amount of nights. So you drag minimum nights into filters, and then over here in the table, we're going to click this down arrow, and these this list represents the number of nights you can stay in the Airbnb. So unselect all of them and just select the desired values, one, two, three, and four. And then that all of that data should be represented in your table. And you can look through that and see all of this useful information. And you've narrowed down all that data you had before to just what you want to see. And in Excel, if you need help, you can go to the top in the help, Excel help. And for example, if you needed help on pivot tables, you would type in pivot tables, and you have all of this information to look at if you need help. Thank you for watching. And finally, to create a clustered column table, we're going to click insert, and then you see these op options for charts, and you can see columns up here represented by the image, and then this option for a clustered column. Select that and your chart should be represented in the Excel sheet.